Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitarist Show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm playing through some resonators, some Republic guitars resonators. First of all, what is a resonator? Well, a resonator has this kind of cone, a metal cone, and this specific one I'm playing is made of wood with a cone. But I have here with me different ones. So this one here is the same thing, but different color. Okay. And this is copper, rusty, and they all sound a little different. But mainly a thing that I that I really appreciate is that they have kind of a uh, reverb. Even if I speak into it, hey, you know, ah, hey, 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 you hear the reverb. Because they have, this is a full metal body. This Rizalian is a uh, brass full metal too, but put it in gold. It, this is bell brass, all of these are bell brass. This is brass and copper finish. So, these guitars were invented in the early 20th century and they were invented so guitar players could be louder because acoustic guitars were not able to compete with the banjo which is a lot more vocal and a lot louder and with the trumpet or the clarinet or even the snare drum in uh, bluegrass bands or Dixieland bands. So they invented this guitar, which is basically kind of a speaker inverted. So the, the center of the cone is here, is exactly here, and it's going down. So it's going like this, going down, spreading like this. The strings attach here. Let me see if I can show you that. So there's a biscuit over there. And over here, it's a biscuit with a saddle. The strings are attached there to the, the center of the cone. And they are spreading the resonance of the strings through the cone, which amplifies th through the body. Of course, this sounds like metal because it's made of metal. So it has this honky sound that is very well known from guys like Sonhaus, uh, Keb Mo. Eric Bibb, they all use res resonator guitars. Strangely enough, Robert Johnson, one of the most famous guys using guitar, uh, playing acoustic guitar, played acoustic guitar, regular acoustic guitar, a parlor size. Uh, this is very famous for the Brothers in Arms cover, Dire Straits Brothers in Arms cover, which shows a resonator, a national, I believe it's a national. It's silvery, a lot, a lot uh, more polished than this one. It's this here. So I have two models with me, two Republic Guitars models. And why do I have so many? Well, I'm selling them through my web store and I represent this brand to Portugal. So if you want to buy one of these guitars, I'm the guy to contact if you like. And I took the chance because I got a big stock. So I took the chance to show it to you, to show different kinds of guitars, different materials, different strings, uh, and try to play it through. So these are Duolians, which mean they are single cone, just one cone, and they are normal guitar size. The other ones are Resolians, and 
They are also they are also single cone, but they are smaller size. They are parlor size guitars. And these ones are made of, uh, of wood, and the other resilient. This is all made of res. So let's compare it. I, I will play the same song. On, on every guitar and I will change it by magic of post-production. I will keep swapping the guitars in so you can hear the different tones of the guitars, okay? I'm playing slide because it's basically what I need the guitars for, but uh, I will also play it non-slide. It will, it will also work as a uh, normal guitar. I'm tuning it into an open tuning, which is open D, so I have D, a, another D, F sharp, A, and another E, and another D, I'm sorry. So it is the same thing as having this chord, the E-shaped chord, print into the guitar, but then tuned all one step down. So I'm on D. Okay. This is just for information, Not I'm not trying to be very specific here, I'm just trying to show you the tone of the guitar, so hope you enjoy it.
Well, we, but do you think about this? I just wanted to show you this five different resonators. So my personal ones are this Resolion, the, the golden one, which is a smaller body. The neck joint is on the 12th fret. And the Dualion, which is a single cone two joint, neck joint on the 12th fret. So this are two different, two different uh, resonators. They sound really different, but I also had them strung with different strings. So this has uh, John Pierce, very heavy strings. This is a 16. It's a very heavy string. It's a string set for resonator. So it's made for slide, very heavy to play. This one has 11s on it, which is meant more for higher tunings. Not, not such well as in the drop D tuning. I will use it on G tuning, regular standard tuning, because it, it will make it sound okay and it will be playing okay. If I tune this one into a regular tuning, I'll be dying because it's super, super heavy to play. The other three resonators are stock for selling. So it's guitars that I'm selling, brand new. And I wanted to take a chance of putting them side by side so you can really compare. Before I bought them, I didn't know what made different resonators sound different, but they all sound different. Even these two that are practically the same guitar with just a different finish, since they are made of wood, they are different from each other. They sound different, they feel different. Well, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you have liked the show. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give it the thumbs up if you liked the episode. It will help YouTube suggesting my videos to other different people. So it's a simple way to help. If you want to have some guitar lessons with me via Skype, please send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. It's the easiest way and we'll be in touch from there. I also have my Reverb.com store where these guitars will be available for sale, but a lot of other products like the Fat Ad and the Triton. And it's just a way of you to help me making a little more money and being able to continue doing the channel if you like it, of course. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.